Hey, it's Josh from Garfield Manager Authority. What's going on, everybody? And I'm here with Chad, and he is with... Uh, Cell Control. Cell Control, yes. I was going to say driver ID. <laughs> Cell Control is going to show us an app here that will probably make the lives of a lot of par parents a lot easier and also be a way to uh, curb all of the, uh, well, let's say, accidents or uh, incidentals that might happen on the road for drivers who are using their phones. So, Chad, why don't we go ahead and uh, get started with this demo? Yeah, sure. So, imagine we're driving down the road here and I try to use my phone. I have a blocking screen that pops up. Mm -hmm. This blocking screen prevents me from accessing text messaging, email, Facebook, and keeps me safe. Now, this app is gonna prevent me from doing that, but the new technology that we're unveiling today allows me as the driver to be blocked, but at the same time, if I'm in the passenger position and I hold the phone, then within a few seconds, it's gonna unblock and it's gonna allow the passenger to use their phone freely does take anywhere between 5 and 30 seconds, like Chad told me earlier. Uh, so what exactly, uh, what exactly makes, oh, there you go. So there you go, I can use the phone. And uh, since I'm the passenger, I'd be able to text, do whatever uh, I need to with the phone. That way the driver can focus on the one thing that the driver needs to focus on for the road. Uh, so how does this technology uh, specifically work? Well, we have a little box that goes, uh, sticks on the window and goes right behind your rear view mirror there. Mm -hmm. It's solar powered and it emits a signal into the cabin that the phone picks up through the app and the phone can determine based on the characteristics of that signal whether it's in the driver's side or the passenger side. You saw it did it go can, into blocking. Forth, right, yeah. that's because you're holding it like right here mm -hmm. and right here is kind of a... There's a, there's a there's right, barrier. there's like an invisible line and this is about where the invisible line is. Okay. Right, so you're going to get, it's going to be always blocking here, mm -hmm. it's going to be always not blocking here, but if you get too close to this line it's going to go it's in and out. And that's and just forth. the nature oh, of... Oh, I see. So it's there is, so there is the like thing. a line that this box creates? Yes. Uh -huh. wow, that's yeah, awesome. there's a virtual line, and if you're within a few inches of that line, you're going to go in and out. But if you stay here or you stay here, then you'll stay where you need to be. Okay. Um, and originally, it was a module that goes into the computer of the car itself, right? That's correct. That's correct. We have this small module here that plugs into the OBD2 port. It's compatible with all vehicles, 1996 and newer. And you just plug it right in. And without even having to pair your phone, it allows you to um, communicate the vehicle speed over to the phone. There you go. Now I'm able to use the phone again. There you so go. So what are some of the uh, various features for cell control that are available to, say, the parents of a teen? Yeah, well, some things that are really important <laughs> is, as a teen, um, maybe mom and dad don't want me using the phone but they want to make sure that calls from mom and dad always come through. So you can whitelist phone numbers and only those phone numbers will come through. Um, in another scenario, you might have a teen who's away at college and you want to be able to use a navigation app to make sure they don't get lost on their way home. So you can whitelist apps to make sure that, that it comes through. I see. Okay, there you go. And then, uh, of course, emergency calls are always available. Yes, right. right. Oh, all right. Well, um, one question that I did have is, um, if someone is already using that, because I remember there's a there's a little module that you can use, I believe it's for Progressive, uh, yes. where they can mm -hmm. track everything that's on the, uh, that's happening with the car through that. That's correct, module. that's correct. Uh, are you able to use both at the same time if you're using this in conjunction with it? Or? Yes, absolutely. Um, you can buy a splitter cable for your OBD2 port, mm -hmm. just like a splitter cable for your TV at home or whatever, that'll allow you to plug two devices in, absolutely. I see. And uh, how much will a system like this cost for, for a um, willing parent? <laughs> right. You can, you can buy the device now from Walmart for $89. Oh, okay. And uh, with the box here, uh, when will that be available? We don't have the price set for that yet, but okay. it will be available in Q3. Q3. All right. Wonderful. All right. Well, that was a quick demo of the safety protocol that's called the cell control that you can use in any of your cars. We're inside of a Fiat right now. It's the first time I've ever been in one. But yeah, it looks to be a application that could really sort of ease the tension that parents have on their teenagers or their kids are out driving or anything like that. Um, oh, and also, um, I think you mentioned earlier, now that I've kind of gone to that thought, it is able to track things that happen with the car and report it back to the parent, right? Absolutely. If the parent chooses, they can set a, a speed limit. Mm -hmm. If their child goes over that speed limit, they'll get an email. Um, additionally, we can track hard braking, hard acceleration, just some basic mm -hmm. driving parameters so mom and dad know if they're driving crazy or, or being conservative. <laughs> uh, question, do you use this in your own household or in your own? Absolutely. House? You do? Absolutely. How's it work yeah, out? Sure it's do. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it works great. I, I feel I feel much safer mm -hmm. knowing that everyone in my family is using them. I'm sure a lot of other parents would feel safer as well. All right, well, that was cell control again. Chad, thank you so much. Okay, thank right. you. We'll see, we're seeing you from the floor here at CTIA 2013. Thanks for watching, everybody.